Hello everyone to a new base build by me, Daft of Building, today with a very different one compared to my usual bases. Normally I mainly focus on offline capability with some amount of online, but this time I turn it around and made a base that has a lot of online defenses with internal and external peak downs, as well as three flank bases to shoot at radars from behind. Let's begin building. We are gonna start by claiming the area where you wanna build by placing down a TC in a triangle and closing it off with a single door. After having done that, you can upgrade the other triangles and walls on them to form a bigger triangle made from four smaller ones as your starter. Following this, we will begin building out the external TCs. For those, we are gonna build out a square followed by two triangles and then another seven squares. On the tip, we are gonna place down a triangle and delete all the other foundations going back to the main base. From the one triangle we placed before, we are gonna build back using triangles, which we are gonna place in a half moon pattern. On the end of four half moons, we will place down three triangles to close up the gaps in foundations, but make sure that these foundations will be raised. We will do this on all three sides now. Now we can begin by building out and checking where we won't have building privilege anymore and then place our TC. The external we are gonna build here will be the last video I uploaded and will be linked in the top right corner. There you can check it out if you want to know how to build them. To match up in height with the raised foundations, we will place down half walls on these triangles we placed in the corners between the external TCs. Now connect the corners using square foundations above the holes in the foundations. Also place walls on the perimeter of these square floors. Now place a ring out of half walls over our core as another layer of honeycomb. Unless you already have garage door, you will have to leave out one floor but you can still enter and leave your base by placing down a roof on the floor next to it and something to jump up to it. This can be either a furnace or a ladder. Now using full walls build up the corners to enclose these two squares next to each other which will later become our roof bunkers. Make sure to place these three floors on the walls that come out from our external TCs, because this is the only way these bunkers will still work. Now to be able to use these bunkers, we will build out our next story by placing a ring of walls with doors on each of the bunker entrances. In the corner place a ring of building blocks that will give stability above, so you can place down the floors. Now that we have an entrance for our base on a higher floor, we will need to place these half high triangles as a temporary jump up. By now our externals make up a big part of our base, so you should start upgrading these foundations to not allow people to simply break them and make your base decay. This is a stage of the base that already has a good amount of protection and could be used as a goal for wipe day to allow you to go to sleep knowing that you won't get first day raided. When you come back, soft side these three floors to make space to building the three new roof bunkers which will separate our core with the loot from the shooting floors. If you don't know these bunkers yet, I will link to a video in the top right corner right now that will explain them in greater detail than I could here. 
again fill in these corners because they will be important in not allowing raiders to splash damage into multiple roof bunkers at once. Always fill in door frames placed with any kind of door. Always use garage door when you can for the added protection and space. At this point we can begin by building in the full footprint of the base. Place all these high foundations, but make sure to raise the first foundation of the path towards our externals and leave the triangle to its right as a low one because it will be used as our entrance. Now that we have the foundations done, we can cover them with walls to act as honeycomb and make space to build our peak downs. Instead of a full wall, place down a double door frame with half wall on top of it in the lower triangle. By now you should have enough metal to upgrade the base. We will begin with these foundations and walls around them to begin with the honeycombing of our roof bunkers. On top of them add a garage door with stone walls to increase the cost of door rating. Now again with our entrance on a higher floor we will place down a half height floor to give us a jump up. Alternatively you could use furnaces or ladders. Because of the way that multi DC works we will always have gaps. Here we will cover them by using the added textures of corners. We will place two stories of metal walls like this so that the textures they create cover up the holes. After the stage you will need to start building the external peak downs. I will show here how I would do it but if you think you have a better way make sure to use it. Before adding in the internal peak downs, we will separate our internal and external peak downs using a ring of walls with garage doors in them. While you can watch me build, I will explain what peak downs are for those who are new to building. Peak downs are if you place floors into empty spaces in a way that they don't fully cover the gaps allowing you to shoot through them and shoot at people trying to raid your base. These are very useful during online raids but add nothing to the protection for an offline raid. We will be adding in these entrances on all sides between the peak downs and our roof access so that during an online raid you will have the option to retake your internal or external peak downs. For the same reason we will be separating the peaks in sections so that you would not lose all your defense capabilities at once. Closing in everything with floors we have our first roof option. I will show you later how to upgrade it. Now upgrade all your externally upkept honeycomb to metal. If you can't afford that, upgrade it in stages. If you want your roof to be more protected, leave out these floors and build some roofs 
to get up to your last shooting floor, which can very easily take down heavy. It will be just a ring out of windows separated by elevators using roofs and double doors. Now we will build our external peak downs. These can be built whenever you want, but make sure to place the floors for them before the internal peak downs because otherwise they will block each other. The peak downs will be normal, just windows with embrasures and to stop people from getting into the cracks we will be using single sheet metal doors that open to the outside and are always kept open. These windows can be filled with any kind of embrasure or window bar. Just make sure to add something in them to not allow people to simply ladder into them. Now I will add the entrances because at the moment we are very easily door camped. These will just consist from simple single double door airlock as well as a window to track for door campers. If you want to know how to build these external TCs, watch the separate video I made on them. It will be linked in the description and the top right corner. Once you have built the flank bases, you can start by compounding in your base for the added protection it gives. In your compound, you can store large furnaces without being at risk of people just going up to them and taking things out. You can also store lower tier loot outside in boxes, but you shouldn't store too valuable things because people with enough mats and ladders can just ladder over the walls. Adding these high external walls here closes in the gaps that are between the foundations. Something to do as soon as possible is upgrade your core. All walls should be at least metal and the walls and floors that lead directly into the roof bunkers should be armored. In your car you can use any design that you want to protect your TC. I will be using the simple TC triangle design using an armored door and vending machine. Also, all walls and foundations in your core should be made armored, as well as the floors above it, to stop people from splash damaging into all the bunkers at once. Adding half-height walls between the armored floors adds another layer of splash protection. To open these bunkers, simply place a trick roof right here and the wall will curve in. As soon as you have the metal to do so, you should also upgrade these corner pieces to metal. This was the base build. I know it was a bit confusing, but I hope you still understood everything. If not, I am ready to give some help in the comments down below.
Now, while watching me raid the space, I wanna say thank you all a lot for 200 subscribers. We are growing so rapidly and I'm always surprised by how many subs I'm gaining, but still under 17% of you are actually subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button, it would be really really cool. Now thank you all for watching, have a great day, until next time. Later!